presumably you woke up this morning thinking, fantastic, this is the day we've all been waiting for, a day of celebration. As you listen to the German leader's senior economic advisor there, is there any moment where you think, uh-oh, Actually, I woke up this morning thinking, what in heaven's name am I doing getting up so early to come on this programme? <laughs> the third thought that I had. The second thought... Surely was, Susanna alone day. would be worth it. Yeah, no, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and, then, with that, and that was what the redeeming feature was <laughs> on the programme. But, um, uh, no, I, I, actually, I agree with a lot of what has just been said. Um, the reality is, um, Mr Schäuble, the finance minister in Germany the other day, Pascal Lamy, who no particular great friend of the UK, both have essentially said the same thing, which is, look, the UK is leaving... But the UK is a hugely important trading partner for mm. Germany and other countries. A lot of jobs, over a million and a half jobs in Bavaria, rely on their exports to the UK. And Mr Schäuble said, we need the City of London to succeed because the City of London is the place that gets us cheaper capital. So, you know, we have to find a way through to establish a good working relationship but with the UK. And that's that, essentially yeah, what the principle is. And I think this is agreed between okay, the Okay, but all this talk of... Do, I don't know why it has to be talked about as a divorce. And uh, I don't, <laughs> and I don't like well, this tone... But, but I don't like this tone of someone has mm -hmm. to be punished a little bit I agree with for you. leaving. And I don't think that's what why, do, why does it even have to take on that tone? Everybody who goes into a divorce always says that. Yeah, they do. Let's keep it civilised. Yep. Let's make it nice. There's no need to be a winner and loser. The reality of divorce, as every divorce lawyer will yep. tell you, is in the end, the more aggrieved party, which in this case most people is would Europe. assume yeah. is European Union, who don't want this to happen. We've just heard that from mm. one of the senior German ministers. They don't want this to happen, and they definitely don't want other countries following suit. Right. Therefore, the divorce analogy to me is pretty accurate. We are going to have to suffer some pain, aren't we? The question is, how much? Well, it depends what you mean by pain. The whole simple point that I'm making... Financial pain. Well, OK, look, there's a debate about whether the UK owes any money for commitments in the future. Uh, I actually argue that there is a, an asset issue about what's the value of the assets that we've invested in in the European Union, how much of that actually is owed to us. So there's a proper debate to be had about that. If we park that on one side for a second, when it comes to the future relationship between the UK and the European Union, this is the more critical discussion because it is not in the European Union's interest to have a damaged trading relationship with the UK mm. for very good reasons. The European Union needs the UK on things like defence, security, mm. intelligence. They know that. So that and, and Germany itself wants to remain strong friends with the UK because well, they have a problem with okay. southern Europe. So, you yeah. know, there is a way to achieve this balance and it's not about winners and losers. And this is the most important point mm. that I finish with. It's because actually at the end of it all, um, the reality for the European Union is you are a member of the European Union because you believe in all those principles. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that's the strength of the European Union to you, not that you want only trade. We have decided to leave, so that trade issue should be resolved reasonably, free trade and access to services. Okay.